Hello everybody, this is Justin Grover and Ben Gaines with Adobe and what we want to do today is to show you just a few quick things about the Table Builder um, also known as the Analysis Workspace. So the first thing that we want to show you is where and how to get how to get to it. So if you go up to the to what we affectionately call the hamburger icon and click on it to show the the main menu for Adobe Analytics you'll see a new Analyst Workspace. Um, go ahead and click on this and this will take you to the to the workspace. A couple of notes for you, um, as you're looking at this, um, you may not see it right now, uh, as of uh, May 2015, uh, only admins have access to it and only those companies that have analytics standard or premium. Um, very soon that will change to, to any user who, who is part of the permissioning group for this product. Um, again, it's still required to have analytics standard or analytics premium to get to this functionality, but uh, it should be m available to much more many more people in the near future. All right. I'm going to walk through how to set up a very a basic table, uh, maybe a couple of tables, just to give you a sense of how this thing works. Freeform analysis, which is the first tool inside of the analysis workspace, is, is very flexible. You can add and drop, or add, add uh, dimensions, metrics, and segments anywhere you want to. So I'm going to build just a very simple product name report. And here I am, uh, I'm under dimensions, and each of these uh, icons represents a different type of, of data element. So we've got our dimensions, we've got our segments, we've got our metrics, we've got date ranges, or, or date ranges, and we've got granularities. And I'll show you how you can use those as well. So I'm going to build a very simple product name report. So just drag and drop product name here, and that will create um, a set of rows um, so product name will be my dimension for this report. And I'll just add revenue as a metric. Um, the, the, uh, uh, this this uh, stack over here on the, on the left rail is uh, searchable in each, of these, in each of these categories. So you can easily find the metrics and the segments and, and, it's, and so on that you're looking for. I'm going to add, add one more metric just for fun. Um, you'll notice that as you as you drag and drop, uh, or as you drag these things over onto the canvas, um, you'll get a little uh, a little black uh, bar showing you where the thing will be placed. So if I put unique visitors right here, the bar tells me that that that's going to be placed in between revenue and orders. Um, I could, for segments, and I'll I'll show you this in a minute. I could put it above one of these metrics. So I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop unique visitors in there. Um, let's say I did want to apply a segment, say my, my gold membership customers, um, and I wanted to see revenue for gold membership customers, I look for the uh, bar to drop it either above or below, either one will work. In this case, I'm going to drop it above, and you'll notice the data does refresh, and now I'm looking at just my gold membership customers. So you can really place these things just about anywhere you want to. There are some configurations that don't make sense and, and where the table will tell you that uh, what you tried to do doesn't work. Uh, for example, if you try to uh, have, uh, let's, say, uh, let's say I wanted to put a, a metric here as a row, um, that's not going to work because you can't have a metric by a metric. It uh, doesn't, doesn't actually make any sense. Um, let me just uh, show you then how you can use these granularities and date ranges. Um, so let's say I wanted to look at the last seven days for these metrics. I can drag last seven days over here. Um, and then let's say I wanted to look at that by day. So I can drag and drop. Um, and now in, you, know, you do see, and it's actually sorted by, uh, by default, it's sorted by the days that had the most revenue. Right? So you can see the, the downward arrow here. Um, I could sort that by, by calendar order. So now I'm looking at May 1, May 2, May 3, May 4, etc. So um, that is, uh, that's a, a quick overview of how you can work with, uh, work with the, the freeform analysis tool to build out any tables to answer just about any question that can come into your mind.